It's Miss Vanessa here at Huntington Valley Library. Today we are going to be doing a sweet science experiment. This goes along with our Dancing Candy Hearts kits, but even if you weren't able to get a kit through the library, many of these things you're going to have at home. I did put the ingredient list in the event information so you can go ahead and get the ingredients from that if you want to try this experiment yourself and didn't get a kit. Um, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing an experiment to try and make these little candy hearts here. They're tiny conversation hearts from Brax. Those are the ones that we have. Um, but you could certainly get other candy. Even if you don't have little hearts, we're doing hearts for Valentine's Day. But any small candy should work with this experiment. Um, full disclosure, I have not done this experiment yet, so I'll be doing it right now with you guys for the first time. Fingers crossed that it works. <laughs> um, so the ingredients that you need, you're gonna need some water. I already measured mine in here into a small jar. You don't necessarily have to have a jar like the one I do. You could put it in a glass or a bowl, but you're gonna want something that has a little bit of height to it so you can watch things go up and down. Um, I also have some distilled white vinegar. That's in this big jug. And then you probably have a small box of baking soda at home, but because of all the events we do here at the library, I have this big bulk container of baking soda. <laughs> so we're going to be using the baking soda, the vinegar, those two are going to cause a reaction, a chemical reaction, and that's what's going to make your hearts dance when they're in the water. Um, so also we have the hearts, we have some sort of glass container, you're going to want, even if it's not glass, you're going to want something you can see through so that you can watch that reaction. I have a spoon to mix with. Just a small tablespoon there. I have a quarter cup measure, a half tablespoon measure, and then I already pre-measured my water because my sink is in a slightly different area, um, but you're gonna need a cup of water. So you may also need a cup measure or a liquid measure that you can measure one cup if you did get our kit, what came in your jar, I want to make sure you know this, what came in your jar is actually your vinegar, not your water. I know it can be confusing because white vinegar, if you're just looking at it, you're not going to know whether that's vinegar or water. If you smell it, I'm sure you'll be able to tell. <laughs> water doesn't have an odor, or at least it shouldn't, hopefully, um, but vinegar is going to smell pretty strongly and you should be able to tell which is which. So if you did get that kit from us, the first thing I want you to do is I want you to pour your vinegar into another container and set it aside because we're going to use that a little bit later. You're going to start with your cup of water in your clear container. Um, so go ahead, feel free to pause me and get your water if you don't have that ready. Okay, and now I'm going to assume that you've either paused or you've got your water all ready to go and we're going to move on with the experiment. So the next thing we need is we need a half tablespoon of baking soda and we're going to mix that into our water. So I'm just getting half, mine's a little lumpy. I think if it's not fully exact that's okay but as long as you make sure it's pretty much a half tablespoon. So I'm going to go ahead and dump that into my water and then we're just going to mix that up with the spoon until the baking soda is pretty much dissolved in there. I have some lumps. I don't know if you do. The lumps might take a little bit longer to dissolve. Let's see how we're doing with this getting there, but I can still see it's pretty cloudy. I'm sure you guys can see that as well. So I'm going to keep stirring that for a little bit longer. It's starting to get clearer. All 
All right, I think we're just about there. We're good enough. Um, so the next thing we need to do, I'm looking at my instruction sheet. Like I said, this is my first time doing the experiment too. Um, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a couple of our candy hearts, or like I said, if you don't have the candy hearts at home, you can use another small candy. Um, you don't want anything that's gonna dissolve immediately in your water, but most um, little hard candy should probably be okay. So I'm just gonna put a couple of my candy hearts in there. Ooh, that was a few more than I meant to. So now you can tell they're just sitting on the bottom. I see hmm, a couple small bubbles coming up from them, but they're not really doing too much there. They're just kind of sitting there. So the next thing is we're gonna add our vinegar, which is gonna cause the reaction. So I'm gonna move my baking soda to the side and put our jar front and center. Okay, so this is when we're gonna measure out one quarter cup of vinegar. Try not to spill it everywhere. Let's see what happens. Woo! Look at those bubbles go. Do we have any dancing hearts yet? Oh, we've got one heart. Anything else? Might need to add a little more to get more of a reaction. Oh, there's one of them. It's starting to go up and down just a little bit. Mm. Now the instructions do say that we may want to try and play with the amounts of vinegar and baking soda to see if we get more of a reaction. So. Since I'm not getting too much of a reaction, I have one heart that's dancing a little bit in there at the top. I don't know if you can see that one. Oh, we have a couple others that are trying. Are you gonna start dancing for me? There it goes. Okay, so now we've got a few more hearts that are dancing around. They're starting to. I think it's hard for you to see in the video with all of the bubbles. But now you can see my hearts are dancing up and down a little bit. They've all risen to the surface. All but one, I think that last one is trying. Let's see if we can see when it goes up. Come on heart, dance for us. You can do it. Oh, it wants to, it's so close. Let's see, what happens? What will happen if we add a little more baking soda? Ooh. Well, we certainly got more bubbles. Some of our hearts went down and now they're rising back up again. Our hearts are dancing. That yellow one is still on the bottom. It hasn't quite gone yet. <laughs> so I hoped they would dance a little bit more. They're not dancing as quite as much as I wanted to, but maybe that's due to the quantities. A little more vinegar. Oh, there we go. Now they're really going up and down. <laughs> so that's a fun thing about a science experiment. You can see we needed just a little bit more of our chemical materials, the vinegar and the baking soda, in order to get more of a reaction because we weren't quite getting as much of a reaction as we wanted the first time. So feel free, try this at home, play around with it. Um, if you wanna be like a true scientist, you can keep a notebook and find out which quantities, do it multiple times, find out which quantities worked the best for you. 
which quantities of water versus baking soda versus vinegar. Um, but yeah, that's just a fun little experiment to see what happens when two different materials <laughs> combine. Um, many of you probably know that it's often the baking soda and vinegar combination that you use in those um, volcanoes that many people make in elementary school. So anyway, quick little sweet science experiment. And if you have any extras of your candy, you know where those can go. <laughs> All right, I hope that you guys had fun and that you enjoyed our science experiment and I hope that you all have a sweet and wonderful holiday.